1. Cannabis goes back at least 12,000 years. This means that cannabis is one of mankind's oldest crops, according to the book Marijuana, the first 12,000 years by E.L. Abel. 2. Weed was the first online sale. Of course, it was illegal back then. In the early 1970s, Stanford students bought a bag of weed from MIT students. This means that the first product ever sold online was cannabis. 3. You can eat cannabis raw. Granted, it tastes a lot better when prepared with yummy edibles like brownies, bread, or cake. But cannabis can be consumed raw. One more thing is that if you eat it raw, it won't get you high, but it will provide you with all the medicinal benefits. 4. Modern day cannabis is a lot stronger. We talked about this on the cannabis flower and its influence in the 60s. For one, it's purer than the illegal hippie weed that was imported into the United States. And it's also been cultivated to increase its THC content, so the high you get from marijuana today is a lot stronger than what your parents or grandparents consumed. 5. Not all weed gets you high. You read that right. THC is not the same as CBD, which means that the type you choose to consume will have different effects on your body. One will provide all the relaxing and medicinal benefits, while the other will provide the psychoactive effects of the high. 6. Cannabis has tons of nicknames. Due to its illegal status, cannabis is one of the drugs with the most nicknames out there. Weed, ganja, pot, grass, dope, reefer, hash, and even sandwiches if you're a How I Met Your Mother fan are just a few of the slang terms that have become a part of the beloved cannabis culture. 7. Shakespeare smoked cannabis. Maybe his source of inspiration? Marijuana residues were found in William Shakespeare's home, which we believe could have been an enormous aid in writing all the screenplays and poems. 8. Bob Marley was buried with grass. The musical star was buried with his red Gibson guitar, a cannabis bud, and a Bible open on the 23rd Psalm, which reads, The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. Way to go, Marley. 9. Cannabis can both relax and invigorate you. This mainly depends on the type of strain you use to consume. Indica is more relaxing and sedating, while sativa is more uplifting and energetic. You can choose either or a mix or both for interesting results. 10. You can't lethally overdose on cannabis. Don't get us wrong. You can overdose on cannabis, which means consuming more than the recommended amount. What it means is that it's practically impossible for you to consume the amount of cannabis it would take to kill a person. 11. Cannabis has over 100 active cannabinoids. In fact, over 120. The most famous ones are, you guessed it, THC and CBD. 12. LA is Weed Wonderland Los Angeles, aside from being the city of stars, has more marijuana dispensaries than Starbucks. Welcome to La La Land. 13. California Banned First. A century ago, California was the first state in the United States to ban cannabis. This is a bit ironic when we look at the fun fact above. But it looks like Cali learned its lesson. 14. Cannabis can be used in construction. And clothing. And plastic. And the best part is that all of these options are eco-friendly. Learn more about hemp and its benefits here. 15. Cannabis can improve senior life quality. From providing relaxation to becoming a more natural approach to pain relief treatments, cannabis is definitely here to improve the life quality of our senior citizens. 16. Cannabis has medicinal benefits. Including being a natural analgesic. If you want to learn more, we have a full course on medical cannabis applications you can take. 17. Wheat is beer's cousin. Beer hops are in the same family of flowering plants as cannabis. We thought the plants look similar. And now we know why. 18. Uruguay was the future. In 2013, Uruguay became the first country in the world to legalize growing, selling, and consuming cannabis. 19. USA grows the most. According to Civilized Life, the United States is the top marijuana-producing nation in the entire world. Behind it are Morocco, Afghanistan, Mexico, and Colombia. Who would have thought? 20. George Washington grew cannabis. That's right. The first president of the United States of America grew hemp. His farms at Mount Vernon were used to grow hemp in order to make paper, rope, sail canvas, clothing, and fishing nets. Be sure to share and subscribe.